told you, I'm right back. Satchel Page All-Stars, still introducing you to the 2012 team. Ran into one of the new guys over here, Nick. How we doing today? I'm good, and you? I'm doing all right. Well, let's tell, you know, the Chicago audience, you know, Team WHSN, we have a fan club. Let them know what your first last name is, what school you go to, and what you had going on last season. Uh, my name is Nicholas Tannehill, and I go to Seton Academy, and I'm an upcoming senior. Upcoming senior, huh? Mm -hmm. Are you ready for this senior year? Yeah. So tell me what part of your game is, is, is so nice to where you got a call from Maiden saying, come on out here with us on the road. My hands. You got some hands? Yeah. What about that stick now? I can stick to it. Spray the ball. Okay, I did see you uh, getting a couple of uh, what they call root shots. Yeah. In, in these past couple of games. Now, um, let me tell, you know, Chicago, what's the difference between your regular high school baseball and then your, your tournament experience out here on the road with the All-Stars? Well, high school baseball is more... You got to see fastball, curveball, work outside, inside, mm -hmm. um, mostly. But on tournament ball, you mostly see everything. doesn't matter what throw they throw. You just still got to hit it, sit back and hit it. So you're saying it's like a, one of those packs of life si lifesavers? You just got all type of different flavors in one bag? <laughs> yeah. Just like that? Yeah. So how how you been taking it? It's been good. It's been, um, it's been a good experience being out here on the road with two weeks to go. And then this is our last week tournament play. So it's been good, though. All right. Now, of course, a lot of people just don't really understand how we do it. I always try to explain to them that, you know, it's, it's basically the closest to college and the minor league experiences you're going to get in regards to the long bus rides and uh, hotels. And, you know, I explain that whole process, how, you know, you prepare yourself for a game knowing that. Oh, Yep, you see they got that man. We're in the middle of BP. I told you, it's always never a dull moment out here with the All Stars. But yeah, explain that whole process of you know you have to grow up really fast out here on the road in regards to taking care of yourself and getting yourself mentally and physically prepared for the game. What do you do to get yourself amped up before a game? See, I always listen to a playlist that I have in my iPod or on my phone. I listen to music so I can get pumped up because it gets my mindset ready and knowing that, it, that I got to be mentally prepared for the game. Okay, so you tune, you put in your playlist, and you just get to, you, you go into the zone. I just go into my zone. All right, now, Chicago, look at that camera and tell Chicago who's in your playlist because we, we, we're interested on who's in your playlist. See, I got Chief Keith, I got Honcho, I got... I got a lot of people. I got Meek Mill. I got a lot of people. I got Lil Dirt. There's a lot of people that come from Chicago. So, you know, I use all those people and I also use some people that's also in the in the rap game that's also further away from us. So. Oh, okay. So you, you support the Chicago music? Yeah. You, you hip hop? No R&B? I listen to R&B, but not on the road. Not during for pregame. So for pregame, I listen to all just rap music that can just hype you up that you play at a party or something like that. Okay, so you say the R&B is, uh, is for after the game. Yeah, it's for after the game. All right, now we're not going to get into your personal business. We don't, <laughs> don't want to get you in trouble with, with the network. But, you know, one last question, because I know I took you right away from uh, batting practice. Yeah. Um, tell me what part of your game are you finally tuning up out here on the road so, you know, you can get ready for fall ball at your high school then this last senior year. Well, I'm basically working on using just all wood. I normally use all wood over the summer, but um, using the all wood tournaments is pretty good. So I'm not going to use aluminum until season starts. So I'm just going to be working on swinging. So you heard that? You heard that, Chicago? He's not going to use any metal, no aluminum, until the season starts. He's working on that wood. Yeah. That's all your plan? Wood. Yeah, all wood. All right. Well, of course, you know, I always like to thank everybody for being on the show. You know, you're doing a good job out here with the Satchel Bay Jaw Stars. I, I, I can vouch for the kid. The kid has a little game. So go out there and check him out uh, in the spring so you can see it for yourself. Thank you, and good luck in the rest of this tournament. All right, thank you. All right. It's up. Come on, man. He ain't hit that ball that far. I don't know that far. <laughs> Jeff. That's it. That's it, Will. Oh, okay. That's what I thought. Huh? Smallest place right now. Yeah, yeah.